Just, um, when you talk about Globe Telecom, Globe Telecom is known as not being a stranger towards technological innovations uh, from, uh, from fintech all the way down to artificial intelligence as well. Um, can you talk to us about what Globe is looking at with regards to artificial intelligence and its potential to transform or improve or enhance the business as we know? How might AI perhaps uh, make its way into Globe Telecom and transform the operations you have at the moment, sir? Well, JP, over the past uh, few years, we've been dabbling in various forms of AI, right? I mean, at, at one point, it was called analytics, uh, coupled with great algorithms. Uh, now it's now it's the you know large language models that uh, have been popularized by OpenAI. Uh, for us, um, as you know, we mentioned about the maturing uh, growth rate in terms of our revenues. So we're now uh, pushing a lot of cost-saving efforts through automation. You know, and the first thing that we use are using AI for uh, extensive open AI um, type of applications is in um, our call centers. Uh, using them uh, to interact with our customers in a more automated fashion. Uh, I've seen a fantastic um, use case, which is using AI in our collection calls for our micro loans in GCash. Uh, we're doing it in, in Filipino, in Tagalog. Um, I've seen the, the model uh, interact with people with quite a bit of empathy um, and quite effective in terms of uh, being able to collect and remind people to pay um, their, their due bills. No? So fantastic um, start and I hope that we can do more in various areas of the company. All right, and just to follow up on that, I want to take a step back and broaden our, our view from the telco industry towards the broader Philippine economy. As we know, there are concerns that AI itself could be a risk to one of the more important pillars, the BPO industry, which employs more than one million workers in the Philippines because of the transformation and how it might change the way people work. Should people in the Philippines, uh, not just in the telco industry, but across industries, be concerned about how quickly AI might change the way people work and perhaps even change or or, or, or restructure certain jobs that could be lost or could be added, sir. Can you share with us your thoughts as to whether or not this is something that businesses in the Philippines should take a bit more seriously, given how fast things have been changing in this area? Uh, sure, JP, you know, as, as a member of the BPO industry about 20 years ago, um, you know, I think it could be a, a great tool uh, for the industry in the sense that I, I know uh, as, as, a, as a supplier of, the, of uh, BPO services in the past, that our customers are constantly looking for us to get more efficient, right? BPO suppliers have to improve year on year in terms of their delivery, in terms of the efficiency, in terms of unit cost uh, that they're, they're giving uh, to their clients. Um, I do think this is a possible tool or also possibly a threat if it's ignored. You know, I think call centers can effectively deliver quite a bit of the routine uh, triage type of services through AI and automation. And again, humans will still have to handle a lot of the uh, exceptional cases that we go through and, and we are faced with on a daily basis as well. So I think it's both ways, uh, but again, it should not be ignored. It should be, it should be incorporated in the daily working lives of the agents uh, because it does improve productivity and it does replace quite a bit of the use cases.